Today we're looking at more common logos with secret meanings that you've never heard of in your life. Please stay around to the end because some of them will change your life forever. Oh, look how beautiful we're starting off here with Zip Hub. Got that H with a zipper right through it. I don't know what this website would do or, or really anything about it. So maybe it's not as good as, as I thought, but the H with that zipper is looking, how about this guy, all right? It's a company called The Wine Waiter. They probably bring you wine to your table is my guess. But it, look at that, it's such a beautiful design. You've got the thing with the cup and you got the bow tie on it and it looks like a tuxedo coming in from a guy. Okay, this one's called Unilever. And to be honest with you, I don't understand this one. Oh. I guess everything in their logo is a product they make. So apparently they make bees, they make DNA strands, palm trees and fire. So in doves as well, in lips, very diverse company. This one's called Two Knives. I know I said that wrong guys, it's pronounced Knives, but this is really cool because they got two of them inside of this little two. That's cool. Like my name is Lover Fella. So if my logo was a fella with, with, I don't know. I don't actually know how I'd do that. Can someone make me a cool logo? Put it on my subreddit, r slash loverfella. Thank you guys. The Swan and Mallard. This is like actually like the epitome of like the best designs ever. Like this is like a super famous design. <laughs> I feel like it's so stupid. It's not, not that it's bad. Like it looks really good. But what I hate about it is that it seems like they forced a swan and a mallard into it just because of this logo. It was like the logo came first and then they named it. Like I feel like it should be the other way around. S space secure. This, this is a company that keeps your stuff so safe. They're going to fly it up to space with Elon Musk and sword on the moon. How about silk skin? And and it, oh, look at that. It's got like a little bit of silk and then two feet in the S. Now this one's gonna make some people uncomfy like me that maybe don't like feet. And in fact, I might be less likely to buy it, but there's people out there that like feet. People that like feet a lot. Some of you probably like feet a lot. You're looking at this, you're thinking, hey. I'm gonna go buy some silk skin right now because of this logo with the feet. Look at this one, the Rooster. Someone makes a business, they say, yo, let's call it Rooster. And the design person comes around and says, hey, how about we put a star in there and call it Rooster? I hate it, to be honest with you. Let's put two random things together and make a logo that fits it. I mean, let's freaking call it Green Cup. You know, let's just, you know, you know, that's what we're seeing. Oh, this one's actually really sweet though. Rocket golf. Like this is, this is like speaking to us. Like this is speaking to people that are our age. Like people like us love this kind of like muted color palette. And then just like a really simple logo. Like this is literally speaking to Gen X paint the city. That is a very nice logo for a very fun event. I imagine you go around and paint the city, but no, it actually looks really cool. This makes me happy. It should make you happy too. Here's one called one design. And oh, this one is clean. I didn't even see it at first, but if you miss it like I was, there's an N right here that says one, and it also has the one there. That's honestly a really clean design. I don't think a lot of people would notice that. It'd be like the FedEx logo. Once you notice there's an arrow in it, you're not going to unsee it. But until then, you're just going to think it's a weird line. 90%. Oh my gosh, this one's so pretty too. Look at that. It's a percent sign and the number 90. But again, like this is one of those things where it makes you wonder, it's such a perfect fit. Did they, someone just designed this first? Like, why would you name your company 90%? Whoa. Okay, this one's cool. It's called Newman. I don't know what they do, but it's like flipped. It's like mirrored. Oh, it's like reflected over top of itself. And it's the same thing. It's kind of hard to read though. I mean, I get it. I like what they're trying to pull off here. It's exotic. They're taking a step into the wilderness, but it's still kind of hard to read. Like to me, an M should not be that slanted. That's not really an A. I mean, it's a stretch. What? No way. I didn't know that. The, the logo is a peacock. Did anyone else not realize that this is a peacock and this is a peacock? Their tagline is the peacock of TV. If I thought it was a rainbow cloud, this is so obvious. It's like, oh wow, look, a martini house is a house of martinis. Like this is, it is literally what it says it is. You don't got to think about it. Magic coffee. See, it's another one where it's just so obvious. Like and now I'm starting to wonder, are these even good? If they're this obvious, is it good? If you don't have to think about it, is it good? Or maybe the other ones aren't good. I, what, what, can you guys help me out in the comments? I'm actually genuinely confused. <laughs> this is stupid. Apparently LG, if you turn it sideways, it looks like Pac-Man, but I don't, I don't know if uh, when they designed this, they said, yo, we're inspired by Pac-Man. I mean, maybe they were. I think it's just supposed to be an L and a G. I don't know. There's an eyeball. Maybe it is. I don't know. That's real. This one I like a lot. So it's called Killed. And the eye is supposed to look like a dead stick man or something. I mean, see again, like, is this better than ones that are super obvious? Like it's me trying to figure out, like, I don't even see the stick man, to be honest with you. I see a weird sideways eye. Frankly, it looks like a period and then an underscore and then L L E D. And I was trying to figure out what, what was supposed to go in this blank. Maybe to me, this isn't a good one. <laughs> the horror. I like this one. See, it's, it's a little bit more subtle horror films. It's clearly just a little bit of a film role, but there's also like a horror, like scary face. Like, Ooh type thing. I think that's, that's the medium we want to find. Not so obvious that you're like, duh, but not so like weird and out there that you're like, is that an underscore and a period or a dead body? Here is the green labs. And this one's, this one, again, it, it's, it's just very obvious. I really don't think the obvious ones have a place anymore. Like I think people realize they could do it. They could combine two words and make a drawing that fits them together. I don't think that's it though. I think you need to be a little bit more creative. Wait, Gillette. What does Gillette have that I didn't know about? Oh, wow. So Gillette has like a razor, like cut into it right here and see this. I like it's subtle. You wouldn't know it. Once you 
you do, you got a weird fact you can share with your friends and be like, yo, you know that Gillette logo? And they're like, why would you say that? And you're like, do you know it? And they're like, no. And you're like, well, here's a picture. They're like, I don't care. And then you tell them that's a razor and they still say they don't care, but at least you know. I mean, I was gonna skip this one, but I'll be honest with you, GameCube is such an iconic thing. I can literally hear this logo. Can anyone else hear that? The Galleries Lafayette. Uh, what the heck? I'm gonna be honest with you. If anyone can figure out what this is right now, I'll give you $2,000. All right, you got three seconds and y'all failed it because apparently the F right here is supposed to look like the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. I don't know about this one. It's like a kindergartner learned how to use a calligraphy pen and wrote the logo and then said, oh, whoa, hey, this kind of like got an uh, Eiffel Tower shape, maybe. That's a little bit much. Ooh, this one's weird. I think I like it. It's the word freedom and the M is supposed to be a bird flying away to signify freedom, but like I've never associated a bird with freedom. So I don't know. This one makes me a little bit confused. Why we gotta be a bird? I don't wanna be a bird. I'm a human. The film dog. It's a film strip that says the word dog. Yeah, I don't like this one. I, I've, I've decided, all right? I asked you guys, now I've decided. It's, it's come to me. I don't like the obvious ones. They look really good, but I just feel like they're not real businesses. Wow. I didn't know this one. This one's really good. I always thought the Atlanta Falcons was just a falcon, but it's also the letter F. Did anyone else not know that? I had no idea. Pretty sad. I feel like I'm gonna be uh, roasted for this. Eagle Mountain Capital. Okay, this one's kind of pretty. It is obviously very obvious as to what it is. It looks really good. Like this is one that may like some weird obvious design but it like still looks good like the horse looks good the dog looks good or whatever that is maybe it's a wolf the bird looks good i mean all parts of this look good the elephant this this one's good i, I would use this website you got the little swirl with the elephant trunk i mean that's pretty clever and it's letter e this is a two for one that's pretty epic oh ooh, i don't know about this font right here definitely says eight. Oh, the font <laughs> The font is an eight. Every single letter is just the letter eight or the number eight cut down into letters. Oh, wow. That is very interesting. Wow. This is not my favorite one yet. Can you do that with every number? Can you make seven out of sevens? I'm about to open up a company and just call it seven. I don't know why, but I'm gonna do it if this is possible. This one's not bad. You got the dig with a shovel on the inside. I mean, I, I don't know what else you could do if your company's name is dig. What else are you gonna do? Make the G a shovel? I guess you could do that. How about the continental? Wait, this one to stretch. The C and the O make a tire. Apparently it's a tire brand. I don't know if your tires be looking like that, but if they do, maybe it's time to get a different tire. I mean, that legitimately has a spike on it. This looks like Corona beer to me. Then why is there a horse? Okay, Chick-fil-A. Yeah, okay. All right. I kind of knew this. There's a chicken in the seat. I say I kind of knew it because I also kind of see this and I don't see a chicken. I just see like a, uh, just like a weird looking letter C. You know, you ever do that? Like you just see a logo, you know what it's supposed to be. Like, I don't see a chicken there. Bullet. Okay. You're, you're watching a movie. A B comes up on screen and then two bullets shoot into the B and make this logo. Like this is like a film production studio logo and hundred percent, I can see that being real. Bird love. What kind of company would be called bird love? You're breeding birds. Do you have like a bird sanctuary? It's like for this logo to work, there is a very small amount of businesses this would work for. But if you somehow are in the bird breeding industry, then this is about as good as you're going to get. Barehanded. Okay. Okay. Oh, that, that's not bad. Actually, that's a creative. First off, really good name. Second off, I feel like I a little bit understand what the company's about. A bear's a bear hand, a naked hand, and it's got a bear on the hand. This does all that I want. It looks clean. It also looks rugged. It's got the bear. It's got the hand. I'm going to shop from here. Ooh, this one you could see inside of a comic book. I don't read comic books, but if I did, I imagine this would be a pretty sweet uh, like title page or something or cover, or whatever. And we've got the bat bar. Okay, that actually would be really sick. I love this logo first off a ton. I think the colors look good. I think the logo and the font look good. But more importantly, I like the vibe that it implies, like a bat bar, like a dark bar, a dark, quiet, spooky cave bar. If it's in a cave, it's even better. I hear something like Lovebird and I'm like, nah, but I hear bat bar and I'm like, I'm trying to go. Barcode. This is one that confuses me because I don't know. Is it a bar or is it a code? Is, is this a bar where I'm gonna get a drink or is this a place I'm gonna go and get my paperwork done? Like, I don't know, I'm confused. Last one was better. The Art Peak. Oh, okay, that's good. See, if, if I'm gonna buy an artistic materials from someone, I'm not gonna buy it unless you got an artistic logo. This is an artistic logo, I'm gonna buy it from you. But if your logo is like really bad and you're supposed to be an art company, just like in Minecraft, if you're a building company and your building sucks, I'm gonna be like, yo, this ain't it, all right? You should show your best work in your logo. Just kidding, I have no idea what I'm saying. AG Low Construction. Wow, this one is really cool because that's like a floor plan and it says AG low and the engineer in me is absolutely in love with it because I used to do this stuff all the time, but mine was more of like tracing pipes through your house. And uh, it was really not that fun to be honest with you. Uh, I didn't like being an engineer. I'm gonna say it right now. I did not enjoy it at all, but this is something that brings back memories. I did this a lot. Y'all have a lot of pipes in your homes. The Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. Obviously we got an A with an award in it, but is that like the real logo? Cause if it is, I didn't know that. And second, that's a chonky looking A. And it kind of even looks like two dudes with a chin, like real, like crimson chin 
chin looking dudes, if you think about it, and a uh, very pointy eyeball versus a trophy. Here we have eight fish and it's eight fish, but like, what is it? What is eight fish? What does it do? Like I would not, if I, if I walk down the street and I see this logo on the sign, I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, what is this? Like, is it a fish eating place? Does it sell fish? Is it where I catch uh, aquarium fish? Does it even have to do with fish? Is it about the number eight? Maybe it's a pool place where you got the eight ball. I just don't know. And that's why I don't like it. Three nuts, general contractors. This one's good. You got the full thing. You got the number three, you got the wrench, you got three nuts above it. And it's also like its own, uh, what, what do you call these things? I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a contractor uh, to know what that is. Uh, lug nut or something, but that's a good logo. See, we've learned a lot today about good logos. And if you're waiting to see the Mr. Beast logo that I clickbaited with in the thumbnail, we did a little bit of research. Let me show you what I found. You look at the Mr. Beast logo, you'll see a lightning bolt right here on the beast and a lightning bolt right here on the E. What does that mean? It means, I don't, I don't actually know if that means anything. It's the only thing I could see by looking at this logo for a long time. He's got two lightning bolts. I don't know what it has to do with being a beast. This looks like a panther or something. I don't know, guys, if there's a secret meaning in here. You drop a comment, tell me. But thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Link that screen. I'll see you guys soon.